coming up next on Madden NFL 24. But not far from where the Steelers' former homes at Three Rivers Stadium, Forbes Field once stood, we are at Pittsburgh's. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Right off the bat, here's Pickett to throw it. And his first pass is incomplete. Not a great start dropping his first target. Let's face it, it won't be his last chance. We get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. Pickett throwing again on second down. Pass complete. George Pickens with it. Down the right sideline. And he's going to be ridden out of bounds down inside the 25. A big play there on the catch and run. 51 yards. No question about it. They're going to test the secondary. They come out throwing from the start. And they can put a pass on first down. And then, bam, they hit a big one early in the game. This approach sometimes can open up stuff underneath. But other times, it can open up the floodgates, too. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. 23 yards on the play. Boy, no problems getting down the field here on this opening drive. They've looked really sharp in the early going. And they've come up with some big plays already. Here's another. Pushing and fighting his way in for the Steeler touchdown. Najee Harris. Drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7-0. Pickett now to throw off the play fake. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fit it to retain possession there, and it's second down. Pickett. Give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. That's an early scramble to be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to pass the 45. That will be eight yards home. No surprise offense would be able to convert. They're currently set league in first downs, and they pick up one here. Yeah, not a stat that we talk about a heck of a lot, but it's a vital one. And in this case, it's really vital because what does it do? Keeps their defense off the field, gives them a chance to rest. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Two jump plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. Here's Pickett. Here's Fryermuth again. Touchdown! Pat Fryermuth with touchdown number. And the offense getting set to take over the football here early on in the game, first quarter. On first and ten, it's Pickett. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. The good signal callers would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 44 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. First and 10 at the 42 yard line. Off the play fake, here's Pickett. Being chased out left. And this one nearly picked off. Well, kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. Second and ten. It's Pickett again. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. George Pickens, the intended target. And now it's third down. You look at this defense for Tampa Bay. 
They've been pretty good against the pass. Not amazing, but good. Number 13 in the league. So I'm prepping for this game. I kept asking myself the question, what's keeping this group from being top 10 in the league against the pass? And too many mistakes, especially little mistakes. And those add up into big mistakes. Big mistakes add up into points against you. Offense is all over. Continue to be aggressive. And most people never turn down a shot at a deep ball. But oftentimes, it attracts a little bit of extra attention. And it did on that play. And that one got knocked away. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a shot. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. A handoff to Harris to begin the drive. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that. The nickel look, five sets, five DBs. But what also happens then? You take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes, you can run the football effectively against that defense. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Pick it back to throw. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 and a first down. Now Pickett. Completes this one to Pickens. And in for the Steelers, touchdown. will take over and they will have the football at their own 20 yard line they run the play fake here's Pickett flush to his right completing it to the right side Johnson and past the 40 before he's out of bounds 23 yards the final tally and he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the ball's arriving and there's a defender there, he just comes down with the ball. He competes and takes it away. Great hands, great ability to finish the catch. A good run there, a great right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side, the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Touchdown, Steelers! They'll start the drive with Harris. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They run again with Harris. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. 86 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Here is third down and four. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. Setting up the screen, Harris. And he'll be taken down, but he does. Pickett sets up play action. Here's one deep for Pickens. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Boy, that ball's just hanging up there waiting to be intercepted. That looked doomed from the start, but they took the deep shot anyway, and fortunately, it winds up incomplete. Pickett back to the air on second down. Buying time to his left. Shakes up, but now he's swallowed up and taken down. We have an injured player out there, and oh boy, that's the quarterback, Kenny Pickett, who's in some pain after that one. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Well, that's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. 
He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Trubisky and the troops staying out there. They will go for it. They're going on fourth down. It's Trubisky. Here's one deep for Pickens. And he bats it away, and it falls down in good. They go play action. Trubisky. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. A second and ten forthcoming here. Third quarter action in the Steel City of Pittsburgh, PA. Now a toss play. It's Harris. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Now Trubisky to throw. He gets it complete to Harris. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. They'll try and throw for it with Trubisky. Flushed out right. Now on the run. He'll throw it back deep over the middle. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls in. Now the offense back out onto the field as they'll take over here in the final minute of this third quarter. Down the left sideline. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Now Harris. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Levante David in on the tackle. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's Steeler football, and they have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. They go play action with Trubisky. It's brought in by Harris. And he'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. They'll try the right side with Harris. Fights off the defender. 93 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous. The football league, and our focus is on Jordan. couple of yards second down but you look at this defense they enter this one 18th in the nfl and stopping the run and the focus now is making sure that they're hitting on all cylinders as they head into the playoffs and that means they've got to stop the run better because playoff football often means running football so they've got to be prepared for that 19 yards to pick up there move the chains Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 25 yards to pick up there, and also a first down. It's a gain of 25 yards. First down is Pick it. He'll look to throw it. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And that is incomplete. And we're going to see this offense try and spread the field a little bit and utilize the outside third of the field, especially against man coverage. But that time, the defense was up to the task, forcing the incompletion. That's complete to his tight end, fire move. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. 23 yards on the play. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, 
They're going to be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Pickett going to bootleg it. And he's in for six and a Steeler touchdown. Following the fumble recovery, Pickett. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Second down, here's Pickett. Dancing to his left. This is caught. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. They'll try to run with Harris. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Najee Harris, his 16th rushing touchdown on the year. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Second and six, just inside the 30. Pickett now to throw off the play fake. Man open is Robinson. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A gain there of 30 big ones. So the big play gets him across mid 